What's going on guys? Chris here. I'm back again with another video for you guys today. In tonight's video, we're going to be talking about division rivals rewards and how you guys can navigate the market and maybe make some coins off of some trends we might see. This is the first week, I believe, or the second week where a lot of people are going to be getting their division rival rewards. So a lot of things ha are happening around the market as we speak. We need to talk about those. And I think the earlier you watch this video, the better it is for you, or at least before the Rouse Rewards does come out, which I believe is about 9 a.m. UK time. So I'm uploading this video about six, seven hours before that, hoping a lot of you guys have watched the video already. So before we get into it, if you guys can, just drop a like on it and subscribe. If you're new around here, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So right now on the current market, we have a lot of people selling. All right, that is what is going on at the moment. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is because of Division Rivals rewards. People normally, usually, okay, usually like six to seven hours before awards, the market tends to get a bit lower on cards that people know are going to be getting supplied. Now, Division Rivals rewards ain't out for another like seven hours, okay? And we've been seeing this constant selling off for the last 12 to 16 hours on the market. So people have had this idea in mind for a little bit here. There's no other reason why the market would be down right now. It's not like people's access time is running out. People have the game, the full game now. There's none of that. It's merely to do with, I think a lot of people are expecting supply tomorrow on the market and they're trying to get out of their cards. And what, they, what this is meaning is that people are gonna try to buy back these cards at rewards because they think that with supply equals lower prices and we actually overestimated that supply this past sunday when okay i'm gonna pick that up because that's really really low we overestimated the amount of supply we got on sunday night with the fuel points that we got from the pre-order and what ended up happening is the market just decided to go up instead rather than down and that is because so many people were waiting for that time where all those field points were putting onto the game that they just, you know, they they made a decision for themselves. They were like they were gonna buy their team regardless if it was up or if it was down on the market. So I'm gonna be going shopping a little bit here, picking up some cards on bid. I think if I were you guys, and listen, you don't have to do this. This is kind of a risky play, right? Because the market is down right now. I can understand it being maybe overwhelming if you're buying some of these cards, knowing there is supply coming tonight. But from what I believe, Division Rivals awards have been kind of nerfed this year, and it's really more to do with uh, FUD Champs awards that have been really, really good. We don't get FUD Champs awards this week. We don't get them on mo we don't get them until Mondays or whenever you guys finish your games anyway. So in my opinion, I think Division Rivals awards, you know, are not really going to put that much supply into the market. If you take a look at my Division Rivals awards, now I'm in Div Nine, right? So I can't really be the uh, the marker for what most people's rewards are going to be, but I'm only getting a Prime Electrum Players Pack for Rank 1 in, you know, Div 9. I mean, I might play some games later tonight, try to get up to, like, Div 8, Div 7, possibly. Um, but if you look at, like, Div... What is it? This is Div 7, right? I think that is... Okay, what is, like, Div 5? Div 5 is a 50k pack. Uh, rank 3 is a small rare gold players pack. Yeah, these, these rewards aren't that great, guys. Um, so I don't think we're going to see as much supply as people think we're going to see. Um, Div 5 does give us a 50k pack, but it is only one. Um, and same thing with rank 1. If you're in Div 4, rank 3, you get a 50k pack and a small Prime Gold Players pack. But that's a small percentage of the community because I believe Div Rivals has been very, very difficult for some people. Very sweaty. So I don't think you're going to see as much supply as people think they're going to see. And what's, what's going to end up happening, in my opinion, and from a lot of other people as well. I'm not the only person that has this theory. I went around, you know, to other traders. Traders like ourselves, we like to talk to each other. We like to see what are other people thinking. I went around to maybe a few people that I trust today. And I just said, this is what I think is going to happen. What do you think? And they agreed. And what's happening right now is what I, what I was predicting was the market was going to dip a little bit further a few hours before awards. And then I think because everyone is waiting to buy again, the market's just going to go up. And what type of market are we talking about here? We're talking about cards that have been previously spiking up in price. Like a Ben Yedder, for example. This guy has been an upward trend for a while now. And the reason why this card in particular has is because, yeah, 
He's an 84 overall, so he might get packed a little bit. But he's the only league on striker that's not a Mbappe. He's the only one. So at 33k and under, I'm looking at his price here on Fuppin. He peaked at 40k today. So the fact that he's 7,000 coins down that I'm sniping him at, that's pretty solid to me. And even if he did go to 32k, he's going to go back up after rewards. Because what the what rewards does is, yes, it gives a little bit of supply to the market. But it also generates coins for people they didn't have before that. So people are going to be getting coins into their accounts that they didn't have before. And it's going to cause the market to probably go up a slight bit. Um, or a, a decent amount at least. So a guy like Ben Yedder for me was somebody that I was looking at. But you can go on to the popular players, right? Um, I would be paying attention to a guy like Sterling, right? This Sterling card, uh, earlier today, went to 77,000 coins, okay? Right here. And he's been around 75 all day. Recently, now he's 71. So if I go on to Sterling here, and in my opinion, this Sterling should be 100,000 coins on the market. I, I personally believe that um, because I think this card is super, super good in game. He is 70,000 coins right now. If I see 67, 68 on bid, on snipe, whatever, I'm going to pick them up. Because I personally think that a 10,000 coin drop on this card is a little bit too much um, going into rewards. I think this is really showing that people are waiting. They're selling cards off and they're trying to buy back. Because that's kind of like something people like to do, right? They like to buy and sell their teams. Which in my opinion is very overrated. Because I think it's a huge headache to people. Why you want to constantly be buying and selling your team. I just don't understand that. So, this is happening right now on the market. I would look at a lot of the popular players. Look at guys that are in like the 100k plus range if they're dropping as well. Um, I think any really meta card. I wouldn't look at like your Malin type cards. Although they may drop with supply and then rebound a slight bit. Um, I would look and see if you see drop offs on maybe some of the gold cards that are in team of the week right now. Right as the market is dropping at the moment. A guy like Lukaku here, 58k is not bad. He was 66. Um, a guy like Holland, I think a lot of people at Holland. Um, I, I like this Holland at like 87, 86. Because this is a card that was 97,000 coins earlier. And now he is uh, 89k. And you can find snipes, guys. You can find bids. You know, he was just 88k. He was 98.6k earlier. And this is a card that likes to do this sort of fluctuation. On Sunday, he went from 77,000 coins to 97. He then got panic sold when all that supply came onto the market, and he went down to 85. And then he went right back up to 100,000 coins. So this guy likes to fluctuate a lot. This is the type of card that I'd be looking at. I like a lot of Bundesliga stuff. I think on the lower end, St. Juice, they had a really nice rise the other day when we were doing this. I bought a lot at, or I bought like four or five at 12,000 coins on I think it was Sunday night when he went back down a little bit and then earlier the next day he went up to 17 18k so he's down to 9.3 right now and again this is purely based on people I believe seeing this 76 overall and knowing he's going to get supplied he was 13.7k and now he's down at 9.3 to get that card in the eights that's pretty solid in my opinion so this is a way I think if you want to risk it a little bit personally I'm going to risk it right other traders are risking it to make more coins, you got to be able to spend coins. And this is an opportunity here where I think we're going to take advantage of potentially a market drop that is uh, a little bit too big and a little bit too artificial um, before Division Rivals and maybe a market rise follows that. Now, what I would tell you guys is when do we sell these cards? Well, we're going to sell them a few, probably midday UK time, right? Maybe like three to five hours after Rivals Rewards because you don't want to get caught with a card two three hours before the content drop because that is when the market starts to take a dip again because people know that marquee matchups is coming out so i just bought another sterling there i like the price of him at 69 68 so i picked them up now another thing you guys can do tonight is icons if you're on a high budget right now icons are going to be decent because they're going to be getting a little bit more supply at division rivals as well right because if packs are being ripped open people are going to be pelling icons, right? There is a good amount of people playing Div Rivals. So I think you guys can, you know, take advantage. What you're going to do is at Division Rivals Rewards, you're going to put your max buy now in. So let's say minus 300K. And I would do this on the phone or on the web app because that's going to get you to the 59 minute quick enough. 
And what I would do is I would just try to find any potential deals that you know. So start studying some of these icon prices. If I know that this Akacha card is 280,000 coins and all of a sudden I see on the market 230, I'm going to snag it because that's a deal. Somebody that just packed him. And listen, you could put the basic filter on here as well if you'd like. Um, that is something you guys definitely can do. I just found a lot of new icons there pretty suspiciously at a weird time at night. But you just play around with this filter. I remember last year during Division Rivals Awards, every single week I would get at least 5 to 10 deals on that filter. Somebody actually just bought that Akacha at 273 So that kind of shows you maybe somebody actually is buying that card around that price. You find a 230 220 boom, there's your profit right there. And listen, these icons, if they do drop slightly, they are going to rebound because icons right now, the more coins that come into the game, the more these icons are going to start to rise up. And we've already seen that. We've already seen more icons going up over the last couple of days. Um, we've been seeing like Ian Wright cards going for 250. Shear is going for like, you know, 290. I mean, we're seeing some pretty high prices on some icons. He actually just listed that Akacha back up at 298. I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'm going to see if that sells at 298. That's someone that's trying to get a profit there. He's making on that card probably about a 10.5 or 11K, something like that. So he's he's risking it a little bit, right? Whatever your budget is, that's what you, you go up to. And you can use your phone and you can use your web app because it's quicker to get to the 59 minute when there's a bunch of supply coming on the market. So that's another thing you guys can do. Another thing you guys can do is watch out for the supply on some of these team of the week cards now some of these may be cheaper prior to div rivals once again like for example i'm kind of keeping my eye on the zakariah this zakariah card is 73,000 coins with a very very good card 86 pace 87 physical 83 to 83 defending and that jesus novice card is also quite cheap as well i would just keep my eye on some of these guys Maybe not buy them before awards, but kind of just monitor them. See how much lower they're dropping with some supply. And once they hit their bottom point, they're going to go up again. Because once that supply dries up, the demand takes over and those cards start to go up again. Keep your eyes on the meta guys like Zachariah, Barella, and Cuckoo could be a, you know, like a sleeper pick. OC Men, Philippe Anderson. It's just going to be something where you're going to have to monitor how low they're dropping. And do not buy early, by the way. A lot of people want to say, what's a buy price for this specific card? I wouldn't do that. I would just wait till they stop dropping. If you're monitoring this specific part of the market, just wait till they stop dropping. And then if you start to see them go up a little bit, then you can kind of buy with the pack. And yes, that's kind of like um, not a great way to kind of go about picking the lowest possible time to buy a card. But it gives you a good, you know, it gives you a good you know message to say okay this card might be going up now because the supply has finally dried up uh another thing you guys can do in my opinion is stock up on some of these you know low rated cards your 83s your 84s your 85s for as low as they are at the moment you can even go and find them a bit cheaper like for example this Jimenez cards 1.5k that's another thing you guys can do just kind of club stock a lot of this fodder which people aren't really paying attention to right now so you're going to be able to put, you know, put some of these guys in your club. I'd buy maybe one of each. I talked about that in last night's video. And then the last thing I want you guys to look at is SBC Solutions. So I, remember, we're going to have an influx of people coming onto the market on Friday, right? Which means that more people have to do these hybrid leagues, hybrid nation type SBCs. I would just kind of play around with some of these cards. And we're getting a lot of Electrum packs. We're getting a lot of packs here that are going to contain some non-rares. This might be a good opportunity to pick up some non-rares that usually spike up in price. Maybe some of the Libidorus cards, the, some of the Pseudomacana cards, right? So like, for example, a card that I would like look out for is this Martin Silva. And not because this Martin Silva card goes up to like 5,000 coins at points, but it's because this card continuously does this up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's what you want. You want a card that is going to be going up multiple times of the day because that's reliable. So he goes from like 600 to 800 to 550 to 8, pretty much 900, 550 to 950, 500 to 850, 500 to 900. And every time he hits 500, guys, all you got to do is buy a 400 because it's easy to snipe a card for 100 coins cheaper. And you can also get on bids at 350 as well. So things like this is what I would do. And... And before people ask me what type of card should I be looking at, 
just go onto the fuppin solutions and i'll show you how to do this really quickly but you just go to um active challenges go to and you can watch my advanced spc tutorial on how i kind of do that sort of trading you go to like it's like a hybrid leagues for example you go to seven league boots and then you just pick the ones that don't have minuses in it that's the cheapest one on the market so this has a two on it and you just look around and see which cards kind of skyrocket so this botman card okay i have a feeling this guy can probably go up a bit it looks like he's 700 coins at minimum this guy goes from 600 to 900 700 to 950 750 to 900 and then recently he's been kind of low but this card seems like he does go to 850 to 900 pretty quickly so maybe at division rivals awards you pick a few of these guys up at 350 to 400 coins and it's a very very um you know not no risk you know thing to do right i buy that at 400 um you could also snipe these cards outright you can bid on them during division rivals awards People don't look at bids as much as you guys think they do. So whenever there's pack supply being on the market, people just look at sniping. They don't look at bidding. And I think you can make more coins by bidding than actually sniping. And listen, when do you want to sell these cards? Well, they're going to be going up and down throughout the daytime. We are going to be getting some marquee matchup supply at 6 p.m. tomorrow as well. So keep in mind that as well. Um, so let's see what happens with Div Rivals tomorrow. But that should give you a good sense of like what to do and kind of... Gave you guys a guide of like what you guys should be looking at for tomorrow. Uh, or tomorrow for me, but today for probably most of you when you're waking up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. We'll have another couple of videos coming for you tomorrow. And an early live stream. So if you want to come through, we'll be live super early in the morning. Most likely Eastern time and probably early in the midday for the UK. So thanks for being here and I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.